Go ahead. Go ahead and try it. This is my recipe, by the way. Okay. It's mine. So just let me know what, how you think your mother did. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Season 2 of September Pies. Today is episode 10, so we're into the double digits, which is pretty exciting. It's also exciting because it's the first time where I am going to make a pie that I don't have a recipe for. I'm just like making it up as I go today, folks. I don't know if you've ever made bread pudding, but I started making it last year and it's super simple. It's very delicious and it's like the ultimate comfort food dessert. Bread pudding is essentially bread you know, often day old bread or a few day old bread with like a custardy topping. It's just like milk and eggs. It's kind of like French toast, but in a, in a casserole. I usually make it in a nine by 12 or nine by 13, but I thought, wouldn't that be kind of fun in pie form? And so we're going to do that today. It's great to make bread puddings because sometimes you overbuy like your hot dog buns, your hamburger buns, French bread, any bread that you have and you realize I don't have much time as like if you're a homemaker like me, you have that like clock ticking. You're like, we've had that bread for a while. I don't have much longer before I'm gonna find that it's gone bad. It's a great, you can just cube it, stick it in your pan and pour the milk and eggs over it. Now today I am gonna do it a little differently as I was doing some research about bread pudding. I couldn't find a bread pudding pie recipe that I like. There are, I'm not the first person to think of it. But um, I wanted to kind of pull together what I've learned as I've made bread puddings and some other ideas. One of which is usually when I make bread pudding, I pour everything together and I stick it in the oven. But people in the comments of one of the recipes said that you should cube your bread and make your egg and milk and spices and sugar mixture poured over the bread and let it sit for an hour before you put it in the oven. And they said that'll make it much more custard-like. So I'm gonna do that. First thing I'm gonna do so that I can do that is I'm going to pre-bake my pie crust. If you, um, I'm just gonna use my regular um, lard pastry pie, pastry dough that I have a link to the recipe down in the description. I did it on day one of season two of September pies. It's super simple. I will blind bake that. That means put it in with just pie weights in it so that it's already pre-cooked and that will help it not get too soggy and kind of hold up against that custard-like filling. And then I'm also going to use, we have this syrup that we make when we're having special breakfast. We call it dream syrup. It's essentially like a homemade caramel sauce that we make with buttermilk. And then I will, we will pour that on top when we're having our individual pieces of this bread pudding pie. So we're gonna see how this goes. I will watch what I'm doing when I'm making it. And if it ends up being a good pie, the recipe will be in the description of this video. I think it should be. Bread pudding is pretty simple. So, bread pudding pie. Let's do it.
welcome back. For you, it's just been a couple minutes of nice, relaxing jazz. For me, it's been a little bit of a saga, to be honest. <laughs> Maybe saga is the wrong word. More like a struggle. A struggle? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm not exactly sure the difference in definitions. I'm in the But I made my first pie, and it came out, and I just was tired and just didn't feel like it was good enough. So I said, I will come back and try again. And so I did. And I started a pie, did the blind baking aspect of it, and the crust failed. So then I started again. And that's where we're at with this third pie. And it's not perfect. <laughs> I'm gonna blame the person who wrote the perfect. recipe. Where I am going to make a pie that I don't have a recipe for. I'm just like making it up as I go today, folks. Um, I don't know why. I've made bread pudding many times. I did try some new things. So, but it may not be as beautiful, but we're gonna taste it and see how it tastes. We're gonna put the dream syrup on. This is our dream syrup. I will put a link to the recipe. I said I might show us making it, but alas, the struggle. I didn't do it. We're and we had some in the that. fridge already. So it's bread pudding. How bad can it be? Now you can see we did taste this one and eat it. <laughs> um, right. I just didn't think it was um, uh, appropriate for public consumption. Megan's kind of given up on this, I think. I have definitely given up on this pie. That looks scrumptious. <laughs> But look, okay. but wait. There's a little more. Mm -hmm. When you drizzle our caramel sauce all over it, it is scrumptious. That caramel sauce will make up for a, you could a put load it on, of sins. You could put it on an old shoe and it would taste good. This is true. Yeah. You could also put some ice cream on it. Who wants to go first? Asher? Go ahead. Go ahead and try it. This is my recipe, by the way. Okay. It's mine. So just let me know what, how you think your mother did. <laughs> Is it warm at all? Mm -hmm. It also would have been better if we ate it earlier, but we didn't. We had dinner and we ran some errands. So. That's good. It just tastes like French toast. Yeah. It's like a little more wet French toast. Yeah, that's what bread pudding is. Like, no, no. Like, um, just old French toast. <laughs> like... <laughs> like French toast. That's what I call it. Making the old French toast pie. for like a week. <laughs> for a week. That doesn't sound very good. No, it didn't. It didn't at all. It's good. Does anybody else want some old French toast pie? <laughs> Pearl said she wanted it drowned in dream syrup. So drowning in your own dream syrup. Yay. Don't hold it too close. No, Pearl, that's way too close. <laughs> it's so, it's a very sensitive very mic. Sensitive. <laughs> it's good. Especially with dreams here. Should we officially name it Week Old French Toast Pie? <laughs> like, okay, it's very soft, okay? Well, that's one of the things I did. People recommended if you want it more custard-like to soak the bread for an hour in the milk mixture and egg mixture before you bake it. It, I guess you prefer it more the way we normally make it. Okay, I'm not very fond of like soggy bread, really. <laughs> oh, I'm so fond of soggy bread. It's my. Favorite. I love soggy bread. Like, yeah. Mm, yeah. it does taste like French toast, but it wouldn't be my favorite. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's a total, total. <laughs> you don't think I mean, it's a total fail. I'm gonna eat it. Do okay. you concur with Pearl? Um, I think. Her? What is that? What is it? German pancakes, you know German pancakes? It yeah. kind of has the consistency of German pancakes. Oh, just a little definitely softer. Definitely more custardy than yeah, normal. Just a little softer than that, but then tastes like uh, French toast. Okay, Dad, we need you to try this because you like bread pudding a lot. Listen, no, I, think I, I know, I know it's not actually a good bread pudding pie. It's weak old French toast pie. I get it. <laughs> I'm sure it's good. Why? Because I have ice cream with it and I have dream syrup with it. So, can't go too wrong. I think it tastes really good. Maybe because of the dream syrup, maybe because of the ice cream. And the bread pudding does have a nice taste. Do you like how it's more custardy because we soaked the bread? I don't really notice the difference. Mm. Um, I guess we should have started with you. Mm. It's really good. It's really easy to eat. Obviously, it goes right down fast. 
I think it tastes really yummy. I like this. So I think it's pretty good. Slather it in a caramel sauce and ice cream. And we warmed yours up the most of, of anybody's. Well, Peter's was really warmed up too. Maybe that's the difference. Maybe warming up is the, the key because it's really good. You're having a second piece. I am. So the secret is eat it warm, drench it in syrup, and have some ice cream too. Which you again, can pretty much throw anything in that mix. But this is a good, this is a good, you know, cinnamony. It's well, we soft. usually have it just in a casserole dish. What do you, how do you, how mm. is it different having it in a pie crust? I think the main difference is when you get to the edge and you have all that crust and it's really yummy. Okay, so when you get to the crust, that's where yeah. the difference is. That's a big difference. Do you like it? I do like it, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I thought we could finish the video. Well, after eating it. Okay, so the recipe is down below. It reflects the changes I made so that it was better. Um, and if you don't follow that recipe, I will also link just the normal bread pudding. <laughs> the, 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 the normal kind? bread pudding. It's so good. Okay, I liked, good like idea. I said at the beginning, I usually make it when I have like a bunch of regular bread that I'm like, especially like hot dog buns or hamburger buns that I know we're not going to use. And those work really well. I don't usually soak it. I don't, I think the kids are used to the unsoaked version. All right. Um, so I don't know, but it's pie month. Not every pie is going to be browned butter chocolate pie, okay? Sadly. I know, I wish that I, I, wish that I could come <laughs> off triumphant today. I really wish that I could, <laughs> but. It was good, it was good. Yeah, I mean, you know, we like we said last time, we have definitely some pieflation. Right. Uh, it's hard to beat some of these pies we've had. But tomorrow, I think I'm going to make another savory pie recommended by one of you, and we'll eat it for dinner. Pearl is doing like a fist pump in the background. Yes. So that will be good. This is the way. We didn't ask Jude, but Jude, you liked it, huh? Yeah, it was good. Yeah, so. That's nothing, all you get. Yeah, nothing too special. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming back, guys. Um, I, I do think, no matter what else you take from this video, if you hadn't heard of our dream syrup yet, or if you haven't made it yet, Follow the recipe to that. That is to our website. The link. Yeah, we call it Dream Syrup. It's just a kind of like a caramel sauce made with buttermilk and butter and sugar, and it's incredible, and it goes well on everything. So check that out for sure. But thanks for coming, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.